So a few months back I did a video on something called Exagare by Elches. Now Exagare was a platform developed for the Raspberry Pi and other ARM processors which made it fairly easy uh, and efficient to run x86 applications on your uh, ARM processor based uh, computers like the Raspberry Pi and it is majorly geared towards the Raspberry Pi. Now recently there has been an update to the Exagear platform and that is they have added support for uh, OpenGL pass through that means uh, Mesa uh, driver can now work on the x86 applications as well which was not really possible in the previous version so they have just now recently launched this feature you can go ahead and check that out in the link in the description and of course this is a paid software but you are actually getting uh, what you have paid for and it, it works really well so again if you want to check them out links in the description down below for sort of a benchmark to how it performs with uh, natively running applications I ran GL Mark 2 and uh, it was very very close to what the original would have been so the x86 OpenGL performance is fairly close what you should expect out of the native ARM programs so OpenGL running natively or on x on ARM or on x86 doesn't really make that much of a difference and that is a very good start. Now in no way is the Raspberry Pi 3 open with a beefy GTX 1080 or even a GT210 for that matter but what we have is a fairly powerful graphics processing unit and uh, it performs as you would expect. Now first up let's start with a pair of games that everybody knows and if you don't know i have no idea what you are doing watching this particular video but let's get started with half-life 2 and cs 1.6 now both are running on the same engine they are fairly the same thing just with different skins and the performance also speaks the, like that most of the time the game was uh, uh, around 10 to 15 fps and at times it did skip to around 20 now this has to be expected as i said the uh, the broadcom video code for gpu in the raspberry pi is not the most powerful one but if you really want it you can actually make it work and it's pretty darn near playable next up we have something called the unreal tournament now a lot of people are fan of this thing and uh, again it's not from my time uh, from the time that I've started gaming but this uh, original Unreal Tournament works also fairly well uh, which um, you know gives you uh, mostly 15 FPS but you, you can expect uh, high 20s and around low 10s so again it's a pretty playable game on this platform so moving on we have a lot of people are uh, you know nostalgic about this game again this is not from my time and I I have played this first hand on the Raspberry Pi but, but a lot of people are nostalgic about it and probably have clicked on this video for this particular reason and that is Diablo 2 now this game runs absolutely fantastic you just crank up everything the resolution which there isn't much of and the graphics and it's still very very butter smooth so and you can see on your screen the gameplay is running really well and i think if you really want to run something like Diablo 2 you have it purchased you want to play it online want to make a small machine that runs it i think this setup works fairly well so this was it, it's really nice to see a lot of PC games, fairly recent PC games, I'm not talking about the DOS era but still fairly recent PC games being run on uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, using this method of uh, not uh, of sort of emulating not exactly the x86 functionality on an ARM processor. So a big shout out to Eltex for providing me with this software and this has been a great great experience go ahead and check them out the links in the description down below and uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one